I believe this tarantula is too thirsty because she is guarding her water dish. This is actually my Brachypelma Emilia. And let's put water on her water dish. This is one of my favorite tarantulas because it's beautiful and it's docile. So please be refreshed. Hi guys! What's up? What's up? It's me again, Super Junkie. What's up to all the Judas out there? I went up my teas today and found out that I haven't changed or refilled the water dishes of my teas. So I think that's becoming irresponsible. But today, we're gonna put water on the water dishes of my teas and spray water to mist their substrate up a bit. The reason why we are doing it, guys, is that tarantulas are also living creatures, which means water is an essential part of their diet. In my experience, tarantulas love to dirt or bring their substrate on their water dishes. I know guys, it sounds very ironical because even though we haven't or we seldom see our tarantulas drink from their water dishes, it is very important to supply them with good or adequate water supply. By the way guys, it is a rudimentary knowledge to know and to share with you that our tarantulas get their water from their food. That's a number one thing and they get it from dubia roaches, blata lateralis, and of course, our super worms. Second, they get their water from the substrate, so it's very important to moisten or miss their substrate in a while. And of course, they get their water from their water supply, which serves as their water dishes. So guys, please stay tuned, keep on watching this video, and see you in a bit. Bye! This is my Gramosola tribes, also known as the Chaco Golden Knee. And she's hiding beneath that hide. And look at her water dish, it's full of substrate. And it is actually my problem with this tarantula. Every time I put water on her water dish, after a few hours or a day, she puts substrate on it. I bet she doesn't want to drink, but let's put water on it. Okay, and if you're a beginner tarantula keeper, you should keep one this is my hairy tarantula and she's cute but her water dish is full of webs and this is my brachypelma albopilosum so let's remove the web and some dirt on it and put water oh it's my pleasure please drink your water now my hairy tarantula this one is a cute one. This is my fire leg. But look at her tank. It's a mess and her water dish is in a burrow. She borrowed her water dish. And it's full of moss and substrate. Let's clean it up and put some water on it. Actually, this is the cutest among or the most colorful tarantulas that I have now. But... She's a flicker, so if you have allergy, please be careful. This one is my giant tarantula. This is the third largest tarantula around the world. This is my Lashidora Parahibana. And let's disturb her. She's hiding beneath and look at her water dish. It's dried. Let's clean it up. Let's remove some dirt and put some water. Okay. This one is a good eater and a good display. This is my Brachypelma albiceps. This one is a hot tempered. Look at her water dish. It's also full of substrate. Let's remove this up. This one loves to put substrate on her water dish actually I bet like the Gramosola pole tribes she doesn't want water look at her abdomen it's bald and I think she's so stressed out look she's trying to flick actually she's flicking her hair but she doesn't have enough hair on her abdomen let's put water and Leave her alone. 
This is one of my favorite tarantulas. This is the Brachypelma hammeri or hammeri and she's known to be Brachypelma smithy. Look at her legs. It's black and orange. What a very good combination. So this one, I often see him or her drink from her water dish. So let's put water on it. Excuse me, baby. Let me finish first. Okay. This one is a very good tarantula for beginners also. And one of a must-have tarantula on your list, please. This is it. Brachypelma hammeri or hammeri or whatever. Okay. This is my Brachypelma auratum. Same color as the Brachypelma hammeri, but it's not actually because her legs is black and red. Unlike hammeri, it's black and orange. So let's clean her water dish. Or let's miss her substrate because it's dry, I think. So just a mist or a little moisture on it. Okay. And let's put water on our water dish now. No, that's ample, that's adequate. Look at her legs. Okay, let's put her down or let's bring her down. So you can decipher the legs, it's red black and red beautiful tarantula now you see the holes of my monocentropus balfori actually this tank is a communal tank for them there are actually three of them now only three left out of six now you can see the legs they are hiding beneath actually and my problem with this is that they borrowed their water dish beneath and what I do is spray some water on their substrate so let's spray okay and you can see them moving beneath and they are so reactive with water I think they hate water look look at that one so let's spray most these baboons get their water from their food from their superworm, from their blata lateralis, and of course, dubia roaches. So let's spray. And now you can see them out because I have just wet their substrate. And they cute. They're so cute. This is my Nandu Chromatus, and she's about seven now. And look at her water dish it's dirty but let's remove it let's clean it up and change the water let's remove the moss and put it back put the water dish back and let's put water this is a good tarantula also a good display look at her color it's red I think wine red or close to wine red and look at her knees her legs so let's spray her a bit look she's reacting and actually this one is a good eater and I like it this one is my Lashodora Parahibana the little Lashodora Parahibana also known as the Salmon Pink Tarantula and look at her water dish it's dry so let's pick it up and clean it let's remove the moss the dirt the web and everything else that's in it okay let's be patient about this I think it's still exciting to clean their water dish so let's bring it back okay let's be careful because this little salmon pink tarantula is more aggressive than the big one okay now you can drink water and the substrate is too dry so let's spray some let's spray water on it okay look she's so reactive about the water water spray oh, I think it's stressing her 
So let's bring her back now before we close her tongue. Okay. Please enjoy now. I just gave you your water. So please drink. Beneath the hole, you can actually see the legs of our A. Suina, our Acanthosuria suina. This is also known as the sulfur brown bird eater. Okay, look at the substrate. It's almost its color, same color with her legs and body. So let's remove the dirt, the substrate on her water dish. Okay, let's bring it back and refill it. So now you can see her moving and she's out. Please come out. Okay, let's put water. Please enjoy your water, baby. And last, we have here my Brachypelma Vegans. Okay, I think her substrate is too dumb. But let's refill her water. It's summer, so let's refill her water. Okay. Hey, please move. Hey, I'm talking to you. I just put water. Please react. Hey, look at her. <laughs> just disturb her. And this is our Brachypelma Vegans. So guys, thank you very much for watching my video. Please like, subscribe, and ring the bell button for more videos to come. Thank you very much and God bless. Bye!